large scale adoption of hybrid rice primarily depends on efficient and economic seed production and timely distribution of quality seeds to the farmers. Hybrid rice seed production is a skill oriented activity and seed growers need to be trained in different aspects of this technology. A package has been developed for successful hybrid rice seed production. The main features of this package are the low seed rate, sparse sowing of seed, staggered sowing of parental lines, gibberellic acid application and supplementary pollination. The package needs to be modified slightly depending on local conditions. Hybrid rice seed is produced by growing the cytoplasmic male sterile line or CMS or the female line along with the restorer or the male line in isolation. The seed growers have to obtain the parental seed from authentic sources to ensure genetic purity. The field chosen for seed production should have the required isolation of 100 meters. Within 100 meters of the seed production plot, there should not be any other rice variety. If isolation in terms of distance is not possible, isolation in terms of time may be adopted. This means that the flowering of other rice varieties within 100 meters distance should be either 21 days prior to or 21 days after the flowering in the seed production plots. The number of days taken for flowering is different in male and female parents. For the production of seed, it is important that the male and female parents flower at the same time. For this, the sowing of parental lines should be adjusted based on their respective days taken for flowering at that location. The number of days taken for flowering of the two parental lines should be determined accurately for each location in pilot studies before taking up large-scale seed production. For example, if the male parent is 10 days later in flowering, it is to be sown 10 days earlier than the female parent so that both the parents flower at the same time. Moreover, the rows of parental lines should be perpendicular to the expected direction of wind at the time of flowering. This will help the movement of pollen from male parents to female parents. The space between the two rows of males should be 30 centimeters. The spacing should be 20 centimeters between male parent and the first row of female or 10 to 15 centimeters between two female rows and 10 or 15 centimeters between one plant and another within each row. Crop management plays an important role in getting higher seed yield. A dose of 120 kilograms of nitrogen, 60 kilograms of phosphorus and 60 kilograms of potash per hectare is ideal. Nitrogen may be given in 3 to 4 splits and potash in 2 splits. A higher dose of fertilizer should be applied to the male rows. There should be good irrigation and drainage management. Excess standing water promotes early flowering. There should be timely weed management along with required plant protection measures. The removal of the undesirable rice plant from the seed production plot is equally necessary. This is known as roguing and is meant to prevent contamination and genetic impurity of the seed. This should be done at three stages, namely at the maximum tillering stage, at the flowering stage and at maturity. A 1% impurity in hybrid seeds leads to a loss of 100 kilograms per hectare in the yield of the commercial crop. The need for roguing is reduced if complete purity of the foundation seeds of parental lines is ensured. The prediction of flowering should be initiated one month before the expected date of flowering. This is done by splitting open the main culm and observing the growth of the developing panicle inside both the male and female parents. There are 10 different stages of panicle development. Adjustment of flowering can be done 
by adopting measures during the first three to five stages of panicle development. In the female parents, the panicles do not come out completely from the flag leaf. Gibberellic acid or GA3 is sprayed to bring the panicles out of the flag leaf. The application of GA3 also helps in better exertion of the stigma, wider opening of the glums and higher seed set. GA3 does not dissolve in water. Hence, it should be initially dissolved in alcohol and kept overnight. The required quantity of water should then be added and spraying should begin. The spraying should be done when there is no wind either in the morning or in the evening. The dosage recommended is 60 to 90 grams per hectare. Of this, 40% should be applied on the first day and the balance on the second day. Rice is a self-pollinating crop and hence its flower is not designed for easy dispersal of pollen. This therefore needs to be done artificially by shaking the pollen parents at anthesis by using long bamboo sticks. This is known as supplementary pollination. It should be undertaken at peak anthesis. It should be done during the flowering period four to five times a day within 30 minute intervals. During harvesting, threshing and drying, care should be taken to see that there are no chances of mixing of seeds from male parents and female parents at any stage. To ensure uniform maturity, the hybrid seed production plots should be drained a week before harvest. A male parent is harvested first and taken away for threshing. The female rows are examined and off types are removed. The female parent is then harvested and threshed separately. All possible care should be taken to see that there is no possibility of mixing of seeds from female lines and male lines. The seed should be stored after it is dried to a moisture content of less than 14%. Hybrid seed production is quite profitable. The average yield of hybrid rice seed now obtained is between 1.5 to 2 tons per hectare which is 6 to 8 quintals per acre. The seed producer can procure a net profit of 25,000 to 40,000 rupees per hectare.